Well, today's deadly shooting is a terrifying reminder of what can happen if a coworker goes berserk. Yeah, would you know what to do if a gunman showed up at your workplace? Our Andrea, Andrea Fujii spoke with a security expert who gave us some of the tips that could save your life. She joins us now live from the KCAL 9 newsroom. Andrea. Well, Jeff and Susie, the security expert I spoke with says everyone needs to learn how to react and react quickly because he expects situations like this to unfortunately become even more common. In the cell phone video, you can hear a deputy guide people down a hall who are evacuating Inland Regional Center, a child amongst the crowd. At one point, the deputy tries to reassure them. Try to relax, everyone. Try to relax. I'll take a bullet before you do. That's for damn sure. Just be cool, okay? And keeping calm during an active shooter situation is one piece of advice security expert Jeff Zisner says he gives to his clients. He owns Aegis Security and Investigations, which provides security guards for private and public entities, and says after today's shooting, he was swamped with calls. You know, these guys are on the loose. We don't know what's going to happen. So we've been scrambling armed guards all throughout the day. He also consults businesses on how to deal with a workplace shooting. His advice, run, hide, or fight. He says, first, run from the threat if possible. If you can't get away, hide. Lock the door, barricade yourself, and turn off your phone after calling police. And if you can't do either, fight. Worst case scenario, if you have nothing else to, to be able to do, then you need to fight. And you have to fight with aggression. You have to fight in groups if you can. You have to improvise weapons. While the motive in today's shootings is still unclear, Zisner says mass shootings are the most deadly when there's no specific target. But if they're just unhappy with an organization or an entity and it's indiscriminate, that's when you have to be the most effective at being able to get out and get away and, and protect yourself. And I asked him what precautions he takes whenever walking into a room, and he says he first looks for anything suspicious, then finds the best escape route, and always sits with his back to a wall so there's nothing he can't see. Jeff, back to you.